Big night uh, for the movie Room at the 2016 Golden Globes with Brie Larson picking up the award for best actress in her role. The film is based on Irish Canadian author Emma Donoghue's novel about a young boy held captive by his mother who has no idea of the world outside his shed. Emma Donoghue also nominated in the best screenplay category. Emma Donahue, author of The Room, joins us now on the line from Los Angeles. Let me ask you if I can, Emma, uh, what went through your mind when you heard the Best Actress Award was given away to Brie Larson? Oh, I was so happy because, you know, this is not a glamorous role. This is a role in which Brie had to dig down to her, her most intelligent and gritty um, acting senses. And um, I'm just so thrilled. And in particular for the kind of glow that she and her win cast on this fairly low-budget Canadian-Irish film. You know, uh, you yourself were also nominated for Best Screenplay. And I'm curious what it was like for you to be, you know, at the Golden Globes, part of the experience of it all. Oh, I feel that, you know, in the words of Samuel Beckett, that now I'm failing better. I got to lose in the big <laughs> leagues to lose Aaron Sorkin. Um, it was phenomenal, especially as the Golden Globes only have one screenplay category, so all the adapted and original screenplays were all in together. So to have my name even in the same list as people like Sorkin and Tarantino, um, it's, it's quite a thrill. And um, I can't believe my beginner's luck for a first-time screenplay, you know? There are a lot of people buzzing about your book, The Room, and, and i got to ask you this, the movie room. Why does this story, do you think, Emma, resonate with people today in the here and now? I think because um, both myself and Lenny Abramson, our director, we, we made it as universal a story as we could. So it might seem to be about a freakish crime case, but really it's about every parent trying to decide how to protect their child and yet give their child fun and freedom. You know, where to draw that line and um, how much can good parenting make up to your child for everything else that they don't have. So it's really about any parent trying to raise a child in poverty or in difficulty or in situations of constraint. It's about that little magic bubble, which is the parent-child bond. Emma, it strikes me, you know, reading the book, seeing the movie, you really get this sense about how it explores human psychology and sort of human sociology as well and, and how really what we're surrounded by literally becomes our world. Absolutely, and children are amazingly um, in the present, so they can get enormous fun out of playing with things like a knife and a fork. Um, <laughs> and I'm not sentimentalizing the, the problems that children are raised with, not at all, but I think children teach us a huge amount in how they respond so pragmatically and opportunistically and, and zestfully to whatever they have to play with, whatever they have to work with, and um, the resilience of children just stuns me. So you have Brie Larson, Best Actress. You had the nomination at the Golden Globes uh, for screenplay, obviously. And we wrote for Best Movie, that, that, the drama right? category. That was wonderful, so, too. So what, I mean, what does that mean now for you moving forward? You've got to be thinking about other awards coming down the pipe. Yes, um, um, between us all, the, the film is up for a lot of different awards already, and um, it's just such a thrill to have a film which might have been a little bit missed out or forgotten, you know. It's not an easy sell, and it's not a big budget film, there's no big studio behind it, it's not even an American film, it was filmed in Toronto, um, and it it's mostly features amazing Canadian actors. I think Tom McCamus in particular will get a lot of attention for this. So the, the, the awards, you know, sometimes there's a lot of fuss and silliness about them, but they're actually hugely useful for shining a spotlight on a film that wouldn't otherwise get into the conversation. You know, in the era of massive marketing for things like Star Wars, it's just superb that award nominations can really draw attention to a movie that might otherwise have been forgotten. There you go, and shows there's room for all at the table. Emma, thank you so much for making time for us today. Congratulations as well. My pleasure. We'll be following closely.